So if you're a new fan of the Opie and Anthony show, you're just getting the ONA virus, you can play a little catch-up uh, the next two weekends. I think they're 12-hour shows, right? Yeah. Wow. It's a 12-hour uh, best-of show. With I'd call that an extravaganza. That's just a marathon. The, just the best bits we've done <laughs> since coming to Satellite Radio. It starts Friday at midnight. It'll go um, Saturday and Sunday. And then we're going to do it the, the, the following week, uh, weekend as well. There's mm -hmm. 12 hours of good bits? 12 hours of great bits. It's wow. A, great, uh, it's a great way for the new <laughs> listeners to catch up. So uh, spread the virus on that and let people know that I bet uh, you we're doing this. Very long intros in between each one. I wonder because uh, I know we, usually when we, do, uh, <clears throat> when we do best ofs, things like that, me and Opie uh, toil, toil. That's right. And Jimmy, toil in the studio here. Uh, introing them. That's right. You remember, you might have heard something like, oh, I remember this one, don't you, Opie? Yeah, this was when blah, 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. blah, blah and then blah. Jimmy pulls his pants down and farts in the <laughs> mic. Everyone lops into the bit. That's right. Uh, I I don't remember uh, recording any of those this well, time around, though. We really didn't want to put in any extra uh, effort, so we decided... Good, I like that. We decided that the guys should be introing the bits. Who? The and guys? by the guys, E-Rock and Danny and Nathaniel, Travis... Did uh, Derek do any? Fuck Derek no. did nothing. I love Derek. Derek, not. Derek is going to go so far in radio, he knows how to do as little work as possible... And get the most out of it. I love all these guys because they all have their their special personality personality works. Derek cool. doesn't want to be involved on air at all. He barely mm. talks on the show. No. And He's then you got the the, uh, the rest of the guys that can't get enough airtime. You got don't take any chances, Travis. Danny, who will do anything. That's right. Danny's like the go-to guy. Nathaniel with his dry sarcasm. Dry sarcastic. I gotta. I gotta be here, kind of wit. He's getting rave yeah, reviews. Yeah, I'm on just, his... I'm just here until something better comes along. He's getting uh, rave reviews on his homeless shopping spree. Reports. Oh, I thought you were gonna say on his Avis commercial. No, man, we gotta talk about that other uh, audition you did, Nathaniel. <laughs> he did another audition, Ope? Oh, yes, he Ooh, did. Well, that we won't hear a word about. <laughs> I got some dirt on Nathaniel, but really, supposedly we're not allowed to talk about of it yet. Of course, we're not. Can we talk about it yet? No. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah. That is stupid. that is the I guess that that is the dick move that happens the most in this studio. The overzealous guy from the room comes in to grab the mic to be on mic and pulls the boom right out of the console. No, it's because well, he's like 6'8". I've seen Danny do yep. it. I've seen Travis do it. Everyone does it. It's the over-eager, I have to get to the yeah. mic as quickly as possible and pull it right out of the console. Afraid of the move. dead air, like if you actually lifted it at a human pace, that between <laughs> when the mic got up to the lips, that dead air would lose something. Well, you know, do, it is tough to get a word in edgewise sometimes. You oh, get excited. That is true. All right, so what uh, what went on here with sorry the intros to the uh, the bits? Well, for this special we're doing, we were all four of us gonna sit down and do them together, yeah. um, and you know just hopefully some funny things could happen if we were all in studio together. Oh, when you guys are all in it, studio, it's, it's magic. magic, just waiting to be laid down in some digital format. Of course, yes, yes. Well, it's at least more likely than if it's just us sitting by ourselves. True. All right, yeah. so. Um, because of some scheduling things, E-Rock uh, chose to do his by himself. Eric, why? And by scheduling, you mean hatred of each other. Uh, I don't know. Eric? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, we all had different schedules. I had to do mine at a different time, and they yeah. could do it. Do you feel isolated from the guys? No. Okay. Why not? In know. order to be isolated, <laughs> you don't you have to be part of something to be isolated from it? Carrie was isolated. Mm. She was never a part of. She was I want to go on record and yeah. say I like the E Rock. I love E Rock. He works his ass off for this show, and He's these guys a, just beat him I up. Everyone e works hard. I know. I, uh, but what do you mean these hard. guys? Poor Hawk. He's like he's like he's always twinging over there, just afraid that he's going to get an elbow. Are you coming to our Christmas uh, dinner? No. Why? He's not invited. Yeah, well, that one. And no, you're cordially <laughs> invited. I am extending to you an invitation. What the hell's going on with this Christmas dinner of it's yours? Turned it turned into something out as a dumb little thing. It was going to be little. It was going to be little fucking fathead, Pat from Munaki. Pat from Munaki, and uh, uh, just I was going to take him out uh, for Christmas because he had such a pathetic life story. 
and had no one to hang out with for Christmas. Now it's turning into this gigantic gala event. Dude, please, please tell him to meet you somewhere and don't show up. Please do that. Now that him. would be good. That'd what be a great. Christmas gag. Are you going, Jimmy? Yes, wink. <laughs> yes, wink. Yeah, I'm going to go. E-Rock, you going to go? Yeah. Oh, no, E-Rock's going to Florida, right? Yeah, I won't be here. He leaves tomorrow. Oh. All right, so let's get to the bottom of this. So what happened? So he did his intros and... Yeah, and so we uh, we wanted to... We came in later and we wanted to know how his sounded to see if we, uh, you know, had a certain angle to take or whatever. Now, you hadn't recorded anything yet? No. So you see what E-Rock does and maybe work off of that so there's kind of a common thread going through the whole thing. Yes. All right. And make sure, you know, if he's calling something something, we keep, you know, consistent. Stuff right. Like that. But... Continuity. Exactly. Yeah. But so... When we first played them, something else struck us about them. Uh huh. Um, I guess the first word is exuberance. <laughs> that comes to mind. <laughs> exuberance. Well, that uh, in in itself isn't a bad thing. No. I think we would like exuberance here on the show. It's something you want uh, uh, presenting some best of. You want a little exuberance. People to be excited about what they're going to hear. We're yeah. trying to break E Rock of his old habits because uh, E Rock, you have done radio. Mm -hmm. You've done your own radio show. Yeah. Let's give a little history about E Rock before this. He had done radio. Had he done radio like the Opie and Anthony show? No. 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 Where you just go on the air and use your real voice? No. No. Not many people do this type of radio. No. Where you just do your real voice. He had been involved. What a, what a strange concept. But most radio guys still don't understand that one. Go to your top 40 station. That's right. The Puker. Listen to the jocks. Top of the morning to you. Yeah. Listen to your morning show on your top 40 station. <laughs> That's where E-Rock worked. So now... I guess this all came flooding back to you uh, during the time that you were recording these intros and stuff for the best of? Yeah, it did. It did. Kind of <laughs> it come, did. Come pouring back. It was like a flashback to that. E-Rock, you, you might want to take the next half oh, hour off. E-Rock, I can You might want to go take a very long coffee Not break. even for yourself. We'll be uncomfortable <laughs> looking at you uh, during this. So you were kind of goofing off doing this? No, yeah. he, no, he didn't. Don't Be try honest. to turn it around. No, no, I'm not trying to turn it around. The one thing, yes. I protect, oh. I protect Ooh, you, but don't even attempt to say that you were trying to, like, hack it up on purpose. No, I wasn't trying to hack it up. I was just trying not to sound like this, very dull. But that's another reason why it's... It, it was better to do it together because then you just sort of naturally are trying to be entertaining because you're talking to somebody else. Yeah. Instead yeah. of, you know. All right. Well, we got uh, we got audio of you, Rock, right? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm sure it's good. Here's the intro to the big end of your Opie and Anthony special that's going to start airing Friday at midnight. Is it start? Does it start with this? Yeah. You might think he's putting on a wacky voice. The whole 12-hour thing. By the way, I, I heard that you re-recorded these. Yeah. Now I want these played during the special. Because now everyone's going to want to listen just to hear, you know, you intro on some of these bits. And now exactly. I'm just seeing the extra hours logging in his eyes, <laughs> having to reassemble some of these yeah. things. If only yeah, why would you redo it? I was advised that it was not... <laughs> Danny, did you hear that? What did he say? He goes, if only he'd gotten to work on them on time. <laughs> Well, the truth, you wouldn't be, you know, running, sprinting last minute to get it done if it was done when it was supposed to be done. Oh. When it was a one-person job. Now that it's four people, it took a long while. Who made it a one-person job? Who made it a four-person job because the one person couldn't get it done as a one-person job? It's the playground, yeah. and yeah. E-Rock is the kid just getting fucking beat up. <laughs> Look at Ben. Ben just ben opened the door to giggle. Ben opened the door. Giggled. Pointed, giggled, and left. I hope they caught that on the cam. Yeah. Please tell me you people saw that. Yeah, he please. opened the door <laughs> and, and walked away. That's the executive producer of the Open Anthony That's show. what Ben does. This is such a fucking mess, man. Oh, oh my God. Uh, so wait a minute now. Uh, Hawk was doing, what were you doing, Eric? That, that You were doing it by yourself? Uh, yeah, I was doing it by myself. I was waiting for all the listeners to vote, and right. it was it was a bigger job than I thought I could handle. All right, I got the original voice tracks. I want to hear like how you replace these because I bet you they're not much different. No, they are different. All right, well, we can hear the old one or the new one first. No, this, just... this is the this is the original one. But the... then all of a sudden everyone started talking, and uh, and he got wind of it, so he he, he changed it up. But this is how it was gonna this is how it was gonna be. Wait, do we have the new ones too? Oh, yeah. I think the new ones just go 
fuck Danny ONA's best bits. And that's it. <laughs> All right, without further ado, here's E Rock's uh, enthusiastic voice tracks for the mm -hmm. big Opie and Anthony end of year special. Now, now remember, we, we've, we've kind of goofed on voices like this. That's right. Oh, uh, this is not um, a goof. Yes, it is. This is E Rock along with Danny, Nathaniel, and Travis taking you through 12 hours of the best of Opie and Anthony since coming to XM Satellite Radio. We've got segments of Opie losing his mind, Anthony freaking out, Little Jimmy Outburst, Steve from Yellowstone Calls, Ramon promos, Drew Boogie remixes, in studio guests, ONA freaks, overall show segments, listener submissions, and a whole lot more. Let's start things off with a selection from our first category best show opener on the best of Opie and Anthony. Holy crap. <laughs> we can't even look at him. Dude, you, you sound 15. What happened? I can't even look at you. I think this place is restricted. Hey, that is uh -oh. nice. Yeah, all right. I, oh. He stinks, ah. and I don't like him. <laughs> well, you're very excited. Yeah. He stinks, and I don't like him. <laughs> uh, Opie and Anthony, where's so? Hello, exactly. And then uh, these guys are such ball busters. Yeah. Travis decided to imitate uh, E-Rock. Here's uh, Travis taking a chance for once. Hey, it's the best of Opie and Anthony. I'm E-Rock, and this is Stalker Patty Make a Deal. Now, Patty brought us in some Christmas presents last year that the boys didn't really like. So we sold them on eBay, and we promised her that we'd give her the money. But we made her do a couple wacky things before she got it. Check it out, and I'll be back with part two right after this. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> I love it. Now I want the whole special to have these wacky voices. There was also a track where uh, Travis referenced me sounding like Opie back at BAB. He said, uh, yeah. if you want to yeah, hear yeah, Opie at BAB, listen to Eric's next track or something. Oh, really? Oh, with the high voice? Yeah. Where's that? Uh, I can burn that real quick. Oh, uh, yeah, go get that. Eric, were you, wow. like when you were doing that, like I've never done that before. Like, what what are you thinking when you're doing that? Like, I got to get this right. Like, are you going that like, this sounds like normal? I'm not even fucking with you. I'm honestly. I'm asking, not like, even <laughs> fucking with you. So he wants to know where the wacky voice came yeah, from. Like, yeah, like yeah. What was your motivation? You you came from a different radio school than I did. So did you did you instantly do that, or did you your first take was it like, hey, you know, your normal voice, and then you go, eh, I think I need a little more. Nah, um, if I try to sound. Excited, it, it comes out like that. It sounds really dumb. So it, it gets yeah. all high pitched and energy. And yeah, I'm like, oh, Jim, yeah, I'm acting. Well, we got another example. Why don't we listen to this? E Rock's voice tracks for the big Opie and Anthony end of year special. It is the best of Opie and Anthony since coming to XM Satellite Radio. It's the infamous Booger Couch. To recap, Anthony had some family over, and some of that family happened to be young kids. Well, Anthony discovers that one of the young kids wipes a booger somewhere on Anthony's couch. Being the germaphobe that he is, Anthony loses his mind and must get rid of the couch completely. Here it is, Booger Couch, on the best of Opie and Anthony. Told the whole thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, We're changed for nothing! Well, I don't have to waste a uh, half hour on this one wow. to listen to it. Let's see what Deep Tracks is up to. Hey, in this uh, next movie, uh, it's about Marlon Brando plays the uh, godfather, but then he's shot and Michael takes over the family. Uh, After uh, uh, Marlon has a heart attack, then Michael kills everyone and denies it to his wife. Enjoy the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what's going on. There. Jeez. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to stop, and, and you say, you know, uh, wait till you hear what happens next. Right. Well, yeah, we go to commercial, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Fred in Brooklyn, what's up? Hey, what's up, boys? Hey. Um, e Rock sounds exactly like Dickie Goodman on those tapes. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, he really it, does, and he should end up like Dickie Goodman. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. D, what's up? Well, hey, that E Rock is a complete faggot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's getting well, ugly. I've got some children. You better strap in, E Rock. <laughs> It's just beginning. <laughs> Let's go to Todd in Missouri. Todd. Hey, just want to say top of the morning to you there, e -Rock. I think you ought to take the audio clips, put them in the toilet. Shh, like, fuck, fuck. Ah, ah, and he was going so well. He was going so good. You were supposed to uh, push down the toilet and go fuck your mother. Go fuck your mother. <laughs> uh, let's go to Randy. <laughs> oh. Yo, what's up, guys? From a place hey. called Staten Island that no one has ever been to. What's yeah, up? Uh, yo, Ecock sounds like that micro machine guy with AIDS. Oh. He knew it. He also yeah. sounds like that guy from um, Max X or whatever it's called. What is it oh, called? Extreme? Yeah, Maximum Exposure. Oh, Max X. Yeah. Max. Yeah. The Max X guy. This next video shows a cop shooting some guy 50 times. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. 
All right, let's go to the uh, next uh, track from me.